Hey, welcome to Try Trying Harder. I'm Guido and we are back with some Lego minifigures from the Dungeons and Dragons set. I got four more of these. My other video I opened up three. These are the last four that I plan on getting. Pretty sure, 99% sure. I'll take a look when we open these. These should be foolproof. Get a little scanny scan scan and these should all be ones I don't already have and that I actually want. So without further ado, Let's get building. If you haven't seen any of these prior videos, you can scan this little QR code on the back with your phone, look up on the internet, decode the code, and figure out what's in the box. Has some really cool characters in this set. Last time we opened up this goddess type person, dragon dude, and one not shown on here, which was a, uh, I don't know, kind of demon looking guy. This one though is supposed to be like a vampire knight or something. I thought he looked cool. Let's see if you think he looks cool. There we go. Woo! Looks like we got some kind of cape. And like I said, <sighs> vampire. Or, hey, I'm not a vampire. Just in case you didn't see the other video, here's a quick rundown of the entire character list. I was considering getting her because of the little dragon, but yeah, I don't know. Guess it didn't happen. But there's some pretty unique characters in this set, so I was pretty excited about it. Build time! Let's go ahead and start with the cape, so we don't forget it. Nice blue cape, torso and said cape. Give him the vampire face. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's make him, there we go. Pretty nice torso got going. Get some pants on. Put your pants on. Make him not bald, the widow's peak. On his cobble path, sword in hand, empty blood chalice in the other, and his trusty rat. Like so. Hey, that turns out pretty well with the base plate. So let's take a gander. We got some fangs, some kind of fur going on, some good detail on the arms, his posterior. This thing's kind of very stiff cape. Pretty big rat. He could almost, almost ride that rat. Creepy. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. All right, box two. This one should be this little Squidward guy. Squidward's grandfather? I don't know if that's true. I've never watched SpongeBob. And there it is. This guy's easy peasy. All right, get his stuff going, right? His legs, supposed to be out the back, flowing. Oh wow, that's a full head there. Very Cthulhu. And he's got, what is this? Some brain puppy? Creepy. Goes on the face. I don't know, does he hold it? Does he hold it and pet it? What are you supposed to do with the brain? There, we'll just attach him like that. He's overhanging. I mean, it's cool, but it don't fit. Look at this guy, that was a quick build. Stretch your stuff, squid man. Not too bad. Really like it for all the uniqueness. This is not some typical Lego minifig. Cool. <laughs> Box three, what will it be? It's not on the box. I think they're calling him a bard, maybe? I don't know, some dude with an eyeball staff. Ooh, there he is, rolling away. Why does he have multiple heads? Holy cow, everything's rolling. He's a roly-poly. Right, let's just build the body real fast. There it is, give him his shoulder pads. Apparently we got two pads of shoulder pads. And we got a face, face number one. Interesting. Arr! What the hell is this one? Oh, you can make it a lady if you want. She's all cheery and this is her man mean face. Mm, you didn't do the dishes. This guy looks way more intense. Well, let's give it a try. Do angry dude. With his man bun. Ha ha! Give him a knife. Knife me up, my lord. Build his staff. Slip it on, and pop it on. Ooh. Hold your eyeball. That is one long staff. And like a so, it is a he. Not too shabby. Got some potion in the back with a key. Mostly grabbed him, because of this weird looking thing. All right, let's do a quick swap. And that's what you get if it's a lady. Yeah, hair still works. That's nice. Go whichever gender you want. Good job, Lego. Next. Final box! This one should be, well he's not on here. The Mighty Eagle! At least that's what I call him. In we go! Let's make this guy soar. Get his body going. His wings, and this awesome looking head. Lickety spit. Well, let's see his back before I cover their wings. Got a little dagger hiding back there. Sneaky. Cool. He's gonna hold his bow and arrow. Maybe, being a little bit of a 
pain in my ass. There we go. Just gotta get mean with it. Get on your base. And then I'm certain this is not a pet. This is a snack. He swooped down, stole this from some high class lady to eat later. I don't know what you're supposed to do with him. He does not like staying on the base. Holy cow, delicate. All right, let's give him a walk around. He's got kind of some talon legs, a little unique bottom section. Not a whole lot of detail here, but you got detail here. There's his bow and arrow, mighty wings. Some feathers back here, very serious angry look. And his afternoon snack, the little puppy. The little, yo quiero taco bed. Fun, fun, a lot of uniqueness on this one. Had to grab it. Caca, caca. Check these guys out. Hell yeah. You can't tell me this ain't a good set by Lego. These are pretty awesome. I think out of these, my favorite has to be this Cthulhu looking octopus guy. He seems the most unique out of the minifigures that I've seen these days. I'd say this eagle guy is a good runner up because those are some also unique pieces. Always try and look for unique pieces because these things cost so much. What do you think of these four? What's your favorite out of these guys? Well, there they are. That was a pretty good set. I am done. That was pretty easy, pretty quick to go hunt all these down. Not gonna get all 12. Seven out of 12 ain't bad. I just don't need a bunch of these. What am I gonna do with them? So just went and grabbed what I thought was cool. But what do you guys think of this entire set? It's up there on my list. I'm not a big Dungeons and Dragons guy. They're pretty cool. I'd have to put maybe Marvel and maybe the Disney ones above it. I don't know, there's quite a few I might put above it, but they don't suck. Thanks for watching though. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Just just do it. Help a man child out. Just trying to collect toys here. I did better building this time. Didn't miss any pieces, so we're good there. Don't have to put any little disclaimers in my videos because I done screwed up. So, I guess, I don't know. It's hard to nitpick these too much. It's not the best gripe, but I guess I'll say Lego. When it comes to making little companions for your minifigs, although this one's pretty damn cool, like this one barely wants to stay on the stand. So put a little bit more effort in there on designing them so that they are displayable and try trying harder. Thank you.